Hey ladies, what's up? So, um, today, this video is kind of like really random. There's like a lot of scattered ideas in this one. Um, but the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to do a quick little review on um, this uh, bronzer contour that I've been using and a highlight that I've been using that I'm fucking in love with. Um, I'm hoping that you guys can see it really well in this video. Like, I'm not trying to make it look like, damn girl, you are fucking contoured to the nines. But the thing is, like, I have deep set kind of cheeks right here, so it kind of makes it look a little crazy in pictures and stuff, a little bit. But anyways, um, <clears throat> to the point of this whole thing. Alright, so the bronzer slash contour that I've been using is from MAC. It is Bronzing Powder by MAC in Golden. And um, it's a matte bronzer. It's got a little bit of a shimmer, but for the most part, it yeah, it's matte. Um, I really love this. Like, it's not overpowering, and it works really, really, really well. It was about, I think, a little less than 20 bucks. Um, but it's going to last me forever, and it's totally worth it, I think. Okay. Um, and the next thing that I wanted to show you guys was <clears throat> was a highlight that I've been using, and that's also from MAC. I'm fucking in love with this. I'm in love with this highlight. I think I might be overusing it. Excuse me. But, um, but I fucking love it, so I don't care. <laughs> All right. It is the Mineral Skin Finish by MAC. And is what it looks like. That's the case, and it's a uh, light scapade. And there's the back. All right, this stuff, like I said, fucking in love. It gives such like a shimmer and a shine. It's um, marbleized and it's got a shimmer, and it's just fucking amazing. And it makes your cheekbones look just awesome. Like, hold on. Let me take off my glasses so you guys can actually see. Do you see that? Do you see that? My cheekbones look like they're out to kill someone. <laughs> um, also, I didn't use this today because I, I naturally have rosy cheeks, but sometimes if I want them more a little bit on the pink side, then I use this. Oh, by the way, that highlight was about the same price as the bronzer, which is like a little less than 20 bucks, I believe. Totally worth it, and how much is in here? Um, 10 grams, or 0.35 U.S. ounces. So, it's pretty good size, and it's going to last forever. Well, not forever, but you get the idea. Um, yeah, I would totally get it every time. <laughs> um, okay, so if you're looking to, <clears throat> to use a blush that isn't well, that is inexpensive and actually works, um, I would totally use this. It's a cream blush from Love and Beauty. Um, I got it at Forever 21 for like $2, and it's sort of like a corally pink. I use my fingers in it because I really I just don't care. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. And there's the back. Yeah, so this is about $2, and um, a little goes a long way, trust me. Like, look, I'll put my finger in it. Ooh. I just scraped it with my nail. <laughs> there you go. I just put my finger on it. Mix it. There you go. Pinky. But anyways, yeah. So, there is... Um, my bronzer, highlight, and blush that I've been using lately. I'm totally in love with it. <laughs> okay, so on to a next random thing. Um, I got a new purse the other day for $43, which is totally nothing for compared, like, compared to the other purses that I've gotten. And plus, this one is fucking sick. Look at I love it. And there's the top of it. Shimmering lime green. Frankenstein, the Bride of Frankenstein. The inside 
Whoops, I'm sorry. I keep like sniffling because I have allergies and it's been rainy. Okay, there's the inside, all stripey. My makeup bag. But anyways, there's my bag. Yep. <laughs> and I just want to say that I'm in love with it. So I guess this video is a bunch of new stuff that I've bought. Um, I got that at Valentino's in uh, Tower District in Fresno. Um, so if you guys live around there or if you're going to be visiting anytime around there, it's pretty, I mean, like, it's, the prices are pretty much what you would, bleh, the prices are pretty much what you would expect for retro slash vintage, um, apparel. They have clothing, jewelry, um, homemade things, like I got a necklace from, um, from, I forgot what it's called. It's like, uh, beauty or trashy. I forgot what it's called. But anyways, it's a, a necklace made out of uh, PBR bottles and cans, which is a beer, basically. Pops Blue Ribbon. Anyways, um, yeah. Also, on a side note, guys, I started using Twitter again, so you guys should really add me. I'm going to add the link in the down bar. You guys should follow me and virtually stalk me. Also, if you haven't added me on Facebook, feel free to go ahead and do that. I have, I'm have. i going to put the link in this video. Also, um, I have the link on my YouTube page, on my actual channel page. But anyways, this video is getting long and excessive, so that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions on anything that you saw, or you want to know more about anything, or blah, 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 just add a comment. Also, I don't know. Be safe and don't get caught. Bye.